Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? My name is Constancia Gomez. I am um, a life coach and I am so happy to be here. I lost 60 pounds in the last um, year. And I today I wanted to make a quick a quick reminder uh, to people that will like to start with this change. Um, anyway, let's start. I was always a happy girl, a happy mom, a happy person. And eventually I start putting one pound, two pounds, three pounds. And with the years I was, I had to change my clothing. So I had to start changing my clothing and I got a bigger, a bigger, bigger. Oh, of course then, well, I got pregnant. So you, you get bigger no matter what, but never really address it. The fact that I had to low, lower my weight. So basically, uh, one day I was like 60 pounds over my weight. And I really, um, I really said that was during the pandemic. And I said, I need to do something. A friend of mine suggested intermittent fasting. And I was like, when people suggested it in Argentina, one day I went to a breakfast at my aunt's house and these girls were, they came and they were like super skinny. And I was like, what's up with that? And they were like, oh, we do fasting. Today I haven't eaten for 24 hours. And the first thing that I thought, these people are crazy. That's what I thought. I was like, please give me a break. Life is only one. Well, with that in mind, I just want to tell you that the thing that we do is that many times we judge whatever other people do, but we don't know anything about it, anything. And we, the first thing that comes is the judging, but really, we, why would you judge? No need, no need. So now I do actually listen. I became more a listener. And this is thanks to the fasting. The fasting had been helping me to to came to get more uh be, be more aware, to be more focused, to organize myself more, to really plan what I want. And the thing is because it's really um it's it's really an awakening to be able to decide, okay, I'm not, when everybody's snacking, I'm not going to snack. When everybody is eating, uh, like no tomorrow, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my tea, my mate. This is a mate. This is from Argentina. Actually, this is an Essen mate. I distribute them and they're amazing. You can travel. They have a top that you can take them anywhere. I take them in my purse. And I drink mate all the time. So if you want the link, I will put it below so you can see it and you can order one. So anyway, this is the thing. I I became aware of how big I was. And this is the first thing I wanted to say to everybody. The first thing we need to do, it's noticing. Noticing that we are, that whatever we're doing is not normal. Having... Uh, you have a height and it's a suggested body uh, body mass for your type, for your height. Being 60 pounds over, being 20, being 100, it's not good for your health overall. So basically, when I became aware, I start, I said, okay, I'm going to try. I'm just going to try. And I tried the first day, maybe I had a little headache. The first day, I think that I fasted until 1. I had dinner at 7.30. 8.30, I started my fast, um, which is not that great, but that's better for, it's good for the start. Then I keep going and going, and I had, I think I had lunch at 1. And then the second day, I had lunch like at 2. But the first and second day, I had a slightly headache. Uh, but maybe it's because I didn't drink that much water because I didn't know how to do it. And I was alone on my process to do it. 
and I start talking to many people, and I realize that in many religions, people fast. Because you need to be able to be thankful and to appreciate God, you need to be healthy, right? So in the, Mus uh, the Muslim community, they fast. In uh, My friend lived in Indonesia, my friend Dominique, she lived in Indonesia and they fasted. Um, Jewish people, I think they also fast, right? Anyway, that being said, I... I start like becoming aware of like this was actually way more normal than we thought. Like when people said to me, "Oh, you go, you look, you looking too skinny. You, you, you this that." I was like, "Wait a minute." When we hunt many many moons ago, the hunters they used.